Hello YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a shorter video than what I normally do for my RPG Maker content. Mostly because I need to think about what I need to do next. Or well, what I want to do next map wise for my project. I could go ahead and start recording the eventing process if you guys want to see that more but for now I don't really know where I want to go forward in the mapping process I got the forest lake done I have basically everything done I decided against doing not this it's up here I decided against doing a large prison in the city, so I went ahead and just, you know, redid the high income fort. The prison's still here. I don't know why it does this. I need to fix that, but whatever. But I want to do it in a, in a future area. I guess I could go ahead and continue drawing this out while I think about what I want to do next. This is this is literally as far as I got before I decided to, you know, not do it and just, you know, paste this back in. Which is not a big deal, honestly, because does the city really need a big prison? Not really. I mean, it's the first major city. There's going to be more major cities. So it might be like the second, third, or fourth major city that has this ginormous prison system in it so I mean I've not decided yet I could go ahead and like I said continue building this out I could even do it while I record but it won't be today because <coughs> I know my arm my right arm that is also my mouse arm will not allow it I've had the I've had issues already today with my arm. So this is going to be, like I said, a, sh a shorter video because of that. It's more of an update. I wish I could post, do a longer video, but it is what it is. Just have to bear with it. I'm sorry for not posting more videos on this as of late. I've not been busy. It's just, I've been, like I said, trying to think of where I want to go next. And without knowing where I want to go next, there's really no point in me recording at all. Besides just what my main content of this channel is, and that is gaming content. I'm still working on this, just not as much. I'm not burned out, don't worry. I'm not going to give this up, don't worry. <clears throat> I want to finish this project. It's been in the works for a long time. I've never been this far with this many maps made ever. So not knowing where I wanna go next with the project, it sucks, I get it. I'm, I'm doing it by myself. If I had, if I did have help, like that'd be great, but I don't know anyone around where I live who I can trust, you know? So, yeah. It's rough, but I'm still going to do it. Um, I have a couple of ideas. I'm leaning, I have like, I could maybe do like a sewer map, or I can maybe do, where was it? Maybe like a ruins map. I can maybe like do something like this map again. But make it like where it's all, you know, where it's like a ruins type map or something. <clears throat> I don't know yet. We'll see. I'm trying to I'm trying to think of a third option as well. But it's hard. But I'm leaning more towards doing a sewer, based on what two ideas I've thought of. I've already done a forest. I've done a city, I've done a village, I've done a cave. I could expand the cave. I could. 
it wouldn't hurt honestly to expand this cave. But I just I, you know it's just I don't know how I would expand it right now, and honestly I think it's big enough as it is. I could do another cave system. I mean. It wouldn't hurt to do another cave system. Video games do have multiple caves. So I could do that. Oh, I'm, um, I did find out. One. One upsetting thing, however. Whenever I was doing stuff on my own. I was adding doors to things. For um, transfer events. And unfortunately, the idea I had for not having it fade between um, transfers at all will not work. Because if I don't have it fade to black or white, it's as if the game kind of like stops working for a moment. It's weird. So that's why there's a fade. I want to have it to where it does not fade, but it's as if like, it's as if the game has a, a wait timer of like, two seconds, when there's not one, so, I unfortunately have to do a fade to black, on transfer events, to, make that not appear, the game is still open world. Regardless of the fate of black, it's just it's not as open world as I would want it to be because of that. I want it to have, you know, seamless transition between maps, but when I do seamless transition, it's as if it has to load it in versus not having to. So I might as well just have a black screen to make it appear it's loading in versus just, you know, you're staring at the map you're already in for two more seconds or more, depending on how, you know, much system requirements the game takes or requires whenever it is done, because who knows, like, it could take a, a bunch whenever it's done. Who knows? And it may not take any at all. Who knows? I don't know. <clears throat> so that was a, a bit of a disappointment. It's understandable. I mean, limitations on the program, more than likely. And I could not think of a way to bypass it in the event editor. There might be a way to bypass it in the actual JavaScript coding end. But I don't know where to do that at. So that's like a small, small, you know, disappointment, but I'm willing to work around it. Not a big deal. And that could be why there's the fade to black or white feature in the program as well. Who knows? Because of that issue. And if that's the case, that's fine. I totally get it. I've been putting doors down, as you can see, you know, a bunch of doors, so I'm not done putting doors down at all, like in all the maps I still have more to do, I've been doing that while thinking of what, to, what where to go next, I'm sure I've already missed on that of course, but, you know, it is what it is, I'm pretty, where did I leave off? I'm right here, I think. Yeah, I did all the village. I'm working on a city now for doors. Yeah, I am on the low income fort. Which, I mean, it won't take me much longer to do the doors at all. So, I could record it, but there's really no point in me doing that. Because it'll just me be, you know, copy, paste, rename, 
a bunch of times. And I don't think you guys want to see that process because all I'm really doing is just doing this. I'm just copying and pasting this. Well, minus this, of course. Hold on a minute. I'm just taking this and just pasting it in everywhere and then renaming it so that I know what it is. And I don't think you guys want to see that. I would record it if you guys do want to see it. Let me know down below. I don't mind recording it, but I don't think you guys do because it, it's, it's basic stuff. Like I already have the event made. I believe I made the event unrecording even. And it wasn't that hard to make at all. Like, I already had the master event for it. And honestly, if you guys do get into RPG Maker and you make events, save those events into a master map for events. It will save you time. Trust me. You will not regret it. That is... I'm not a pro at RPG Maker. I do not claim to be a pro. I've used it some before. There's still some stuff that I don't know how to do, which is why I put blind in my titles because I'm still learning how to use it. But as someone who's been using RPG Maker since the XP days, even to the pros out there. If you guys are watching my, my content. Trust me. You want to make a master event list map. It will save you time. You can just make the event once. Put it in that map. Name it what you want to name it. And there you go. It's right there. You don't have to scrounge for it on a different map. You'll, you'll have it on a master map. Yes, you are losing one map, but hear me out. You can then use that map that you're losing out on as your final map. Problem solved. If you use all 2,000 maps, you can then use it as your final map. So, yes, you are losing out on one map, but you still have that map remaining and it has all those events you made on it so you can use all those events on your final map it's pretty it's pretty genius honestly in my opinion <clears throat> but that is pretty much all I have to say for now uh, like I said I'm leaning towards doing a a sewer was will be in the city for the entrance. I don't know where I want it to go to. It might just connect to somewhere else in the city for convenience. I mean, that honestly makes sense. Because having a sewer connect from one city all the way to the next. I mean, yeah, you could do it, but that would be, I mean, it, it, it does it, I mean, yeah, you could do it, but it wouldn't make sense. Hi, buddy, how are you doing? Are you stiff in my leg? <laughs> you silly boy. So I think I will make a sewer map. I'm leaning more towards that because it kind of makes sense to have a sewer underneath the city. And I can have like multiple entrances around the city as well. And then multiple exits and whatnot. And I might try to dabble if I do this. I might try to dabble in doing um some puzzles or something. I've tried to do puzzles before. But I couldn't really think of any. So I may not do it. I'm not really good at doing puzzles at all. So, who knows? We'll see. And if I lean towards doing the ruins, I still might try to do some puzzles. But who knows? I may not. Because, again, I'm not good at doing puzzles. I can't really think of any puzzles 
by now, you know, at all. I mean, I can think of one, and that's the Pokemon Ice thing you do when you're at certain Pokemon gyms, but I don't want to piss off Nintendo. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we won't be doing that one. Because I don't want to piss off Nintendo. Um, but yeah, anyways, I think that's all I have to say. If you can think of any ideas for a map, please, by all means, send them my way. I will take your ideas. I will gladly take any ideas. I do not mind. I think of this as a joint project between me and all of you. The small few subscribers I have. And thank you for all of you who do watch my content. Please send me your ideas. I will gladly take them and put them in. If I'm able to. And if I'm not able to. Because of. Well. Limitations. I will let you know. I will do what I can to let you know. But yeah. Anyways. That's all I have to say for now. If you enjoyed this short video update, you know what to do. Subscribe, like, and of course, hit the bell for more. Have a good day.